That's why I'm excited to share that we've just released the experimental first-person camera mode device in UEFM. This is going to enable creators the, to give the ability to build islands in some of today's most popular genres, including tactical, team-based, and ability-based shooters. You can start building and experimenting today, and you'll be able to publish those islands to players later this year. And to further support the development of first-person games over the next year, we'll also be introducing the ability to create fully custom weapons, deeper UI capabilities, and finally, global leaderboards. We spent a lot of time establishing the right atmosphere. We want the world of PAX Day to feel grounded and familiar, while at the same time looking cinematic, more vibrant, and larger than life. Unreal Engine empowers a relatively small team to punch way above our weight class in terms of project scope and quality. Lumen allows us to achieve unparalleled realism in our environments, while Nanonet ensures that even the most intricate details are rendered flawlessly without compromising performance. And we have the ability to render player-made structures in real time, in minute detail, and at great distances. Players can gaze out over miles of terrain, uh, spotting distant landmarks and player-built cities that invite exploration. One of the most powerful extensions we've made to Unreal is the ability to seamlessly transition player state between Unreal servers. By stitching together a fleet of Unreal servers, we create a game world over 150 square miles in size you can support over 8,000 players in a single game instance. As players travel, ser servers are automatically spun up, ensuring a smooth gameplay experience. PAX Day is a true sandbox. The world's a stage, a blank canvas for players to make their own. Everything players use in the game has to be crafted, starting with your home. We've been amazed at the level of creativity our players have shown using the modular building system in the game. And when full clans join forces, whole player-created civilizations start to emerge. Our vision for PAX Day required us to address heads-on the classic challenge in the MMO faces, how to handle high player density. To tackle this, we created tech that dynamically distributes players across layers. This allows the server capacity to temporarily scale in the same location whenever that zone requires higher concurrency. Player and world state is persisted across all the layers, with each layer corresponding to a single Unreal server. For layering, clans can work together to build huge structures such as cities, while still sharing the same persisted world. And all persisted states, such as buildings, inventories, and market stalls, is intelligently shared and replicated using a robust backend that ensures transactionality and data integrity. And it's not only buildings. Every weapon, dress, or piece of armor in PAX Day is player created. We work hard on giving each item a level of detail that will make players proud of having crafted it. And soon we're going to be adding a lot of depth to this aspect of our game. We're currently up upgrading our wear and tear system to dynamically adjust the appearances of individual pieces of equipment, reflecting how much damage is received, so you know if it's time for repair. We also built each item from the ground up to be modular, to make it easy to adjust the fabric and color, add patterns or symbols, or change the trim. With these options, players will soon be able to express as much creativity in customizing their appearance as they already enjoy in the building side of the game. 